Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ. And make sure you hit that like button. In this video, we are going over the top five underrated trade chips in MLB The Show 19 to boost your franchise. Whether you're rebuilding or looking to add some new young talent, these are the guys to go after. Number five, Matt Duffy from the Tampa Bay Rays. He is coming off a really good year last year, hitting 294, and actually his second best year of his career in his short career. He hit 295 with the Giants. Looking at his attributes here, he has great contact for a young guy. He's still 28 years old. I wouldn't say that's really young, but he's still fairly young. B potential in 74 overall. And one thing I like about him is that he can play every infield position, first base, second base, and shortstop are all his secondary positions, and he doesn't do anything too bad. He does. He could have a boost maybe a little bit in the fielding department, but I think he's good enough to play everywhere. He has good vision at the plate, good clutch, and I think that he's a guy that you guys actually might benefit going after. He'll be fairly cheap for most teams. Number four, Aaron Sanchez from the Toronto Blue Jays. If you want a guy that you can take a chance on and you might have to pay him pretty soon and the Blue Jays might give him up because they do have to pay him soon, this might be a guy to go after. See, he had a 1.56 whip last year. Really down year, to be honest. 20 games started, 105 innings pitched, and he didn't do too well. I mean, his strikeout to walk ratio was actually pretty bad. But I think if you want to take a chance on a guy, if you have kind of a contending team and you just need a guy that can maybe maybe be a boom or bust player, maybe not the bust part, but more of the boom, Aaron Sanchez might be your guy. He is still only 26 years old, B potential. I wouldn't imagine it taking a lot to trade for him. It might take a little bit, but if you're willing to take that chance, I think he's your guy. Number three, Josh Reddick from the Houston Astros. So he is 32 years old. He is the oldest guy on this list. But here's the thing. The Astros actually have a lot of depth at the outfield position. If you just look at their prospects here, you know, they have Kyle Tucker coming up as well. They're probably going to be looking for him to replace one of these outfielders one day. But I think Josh Reddick is a perfect trade target, especially since he's got age. And I think the Astros would be willing to give him up. Just looking at his uh, attributes here, he has really good vision. And don't sleep on his uh, hitting attributes versus lefties. And you see his hitting zone isn't the greatest, but it's not all blue. He can still hit versus lefties. So if you do need a full-time outfielder, I think he might be a good candidate. He's got great arm strength at 85. Decent speed at 59, that could be better. But just looking at his seasons in 2017, he definitely had his best season of his career hitting 314. And last year, he kind of took a dip there down to 242. So I think this is a guy that the Astros wouldn't be hesitant to let go. But I also think, you know, they might have to, you know, wait out a little bit just to see what he's going to do this year. But if he's a guy, he's a guy that definitely you guys want to go after if you guys are looking to kind of have a full-time starter that you can kind of use as a crutch for your future outfielders. Number two, Freddie Peralta from the Milwaukee Brewers. And just looking at his attributes, I mean, this guy is a monster. His only downside is that he will walk guys. 33 walks per nine, but look at this. 81 hits per nine and 77 strikeouts per nine. I mean, just amazing. And he's got 99 break. I mean, just look at him in comparison to the rest of the starting pitchers in their organization. I mean, there are at least eight pitchers above him. him so he might be a little easier to trade for. He is still be potential, but he's only 22 years old. And that might be what you're looking for if you're looking for a rebuilding guy a guy to build your team around a young guy who barely has any service clock on him i think this guy is a perfect candidate if you do want to rebuild freddie peralta is definitely a guy that you should look after and he might be the cornerstone of your rotation in the future and number one paul de young from the st louis cardinals yeah he did sign a contract extension with the Cardinals before last season and you see he's locked up through 2024 and it's not a bad contract actually I think it's 26 million spread out over five years but here's the thing he's really good I mean if you look at his attributes he's got power as a shortstop that's exactly what you want his hitting zones none are really bad 
and he's got really good fielding 77 fielding he can leave something to be desired for his arm strength but he's got decent speed 67 speed as well and just looking at his stats here i mean he hit 20 homers last year 19 to be exact 25 the year before that he's only getting better he's only 25 years old and it's funny each year is the st louis cardinals i mean it seems like they're the forgotten team just look at every position here yadier molina look at all these guys i mean colton wong matt carpenter and paul de young is actually the second lowest rated starter on their entire roster that's just insane so i think that they might be willing to give him up and if you have the pieces to go get him i say go get him he's only 25 only 76 overall and i think that that overall is pretty much a deterrent there but go after him he can hit the ball from the shortstop position not a lot of shortstops right now that are available on the market have the same power he does and is at age 25 like he is so i want to just you know let you guys know he's the guy to go after he's my number one guy and he actually might not be too expensive so that is the top five underrated guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section i'm sure you guys will debate it a little bit but you know it's my top five but let me know what you guys think of it hit subscribe hit that like button stay tuned let's get it let's go